YouTube world. Back again with a two. Two for the price of one. Two simple swipes. I can't lie. My son's supposed to be doing these because he wants to give his friends a painting each for Christmas. But what should we say? <laughs> He's not around to do them. So if they're going to dry in time for Christmas, I thought I might as well film it. Um, so the, these are simple black, white and silver uh, swipes in my kind of style. So obviously don't have to explain the colours too much. I will be using uh, pearl white. I'll be using two silvers, Deco Art Silver and the PBO Silver, Amsterdam White and Amsterdam Black Oxide. And there you have it. before I start dragging my stick through and I can tell you it's a bit of a fine line I've left it too long and had gaps I have not left it long enough <laughs> and come back half an hour later and try to do it again it's oh it's a bit of a gamble but I would say 20 minutes to half an hour and you can come back and start fiddling around i i don't like all these big shapes and i think this is why i started um using the stick to get some cause to me it just doesn't mean anything and it's not a, a ghost swipe as you call it um what kind of swipe is it it's a julie swipe <laughs> it's just a julie swipe so i will break up the fattest, juiciest cells with a thick end and the thinnest ones with a little end.
So I'm not cleaning my stick. I'm not cleaning my stick off on the thinner bits when I take it back up into the negative space because it just brings that swipe, those shapes up into the negative space and gives a little bit more interest. Cells in this one are a little bit more sm smaller and a little bit more unified. Those are a little bit doing their own thing. So this paint's just beginning to turn now. Just a little bit on the thick side. I think I'll get away with it though. I'm quite pleased with those. I'll take you down closer. I really like these. Little feathery, little feathery bits. Silver doesn't really look much when it's wet, but when this is dry, it's going to be sparkly. Not sparkly as in glittery, but it will shimmer. Lovely things happening there and across to the black one in stark contrast. Like that one too. I also did one another one of the blue one over there. Bigger one. But I didn't film it. Let's go in for a sneak look. Here we go. Exactly the same as, what did I call it? Bluegrass? This is sold, this one. So I'm really hoping it will dry spectacularly. And with no air bubbles in the top. Stay tuned for the dried results. So I'm going to try and not pick these up because the backs are still wet. And a little tip here. I've ruined many a painting by picking them up, thinking they were dry, getting paint on my hands, accidentally touching the fronts and getting paint on them. So just leave them well alone if you can. Just just taking them off the cups sometimes can can be a little bit um, difficult because obviously the paint is incredibly wet on the backs even though if it's just touch dry on the front the backs will still be wet but these are wonderful i just love them look i this is my favorite one and i am going to do one of these on a big canvas because Obviously, you can't see the shimmer because I don't want to pick it up. But the pearl white and the white, I just love the reaction that you get of using those two colours together. And the two silvers just adds a little bit of dimension. And then the black one dried really lovely as well. And in the different lights, you can see the silver really, really shimmers. So I'm really pleased with this pair. Whoever my son's given them to as Christmas presents, they're lucky people. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.